Cocaine is some real horrible billionaires, honey. They're not good all the time. Sometimes they're crazy, Steve, and that's why I stopped taking your advice. You didn't, you didn't pick the one like, I told you to. I'm Steve, the billionaires because you are don't, terrible. Because you don't listen to who I tell you. Them billionaires be you having four me. and five and six other wives. Some people are really fucking stupid. Say something. I'm saying something for a reason. And I feel like so many times black women say stuff and nobody gives a shit. Excuse my language. Nobody gives a fuck when sometimes black women say something. But somebody of another complexion, somebody of another color, they say something. We don't give a fuck! <laughs> Jesus! We don't give a fuck! <laughs> Forgiveness is a major part of love. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't want to admit that. Now, I'm not saying you need to be forgiven for something major. You got to be able to set your boundary lines. I feel like I have learned throughout my life because I've cut a lot of people off. I'm one of those people that's like, you did me wrong. You've hurt me. We're done. Number change. You're blocked. Yeah. And I've learned that that's not right. I've lost a lot of people or I have just found myself very alone because it's like, well, girl, every somebody going to hurt you once or twice. Like. Mm -hmm. With. I don't even know when I'm gonna slap somebody. My reflex is just slap people. I be like, damn, how, why, did I, why did I do that? I don't even know when I be slapping people. I don't know when I'm gonna slap somebody. You keep messing with me. I'm dangerous. I'm scared of myself. <laughs> Ding. Thank you for taking me out of my birthday, as always. You know, we're, we're, we're... I mean, I know I say it's not always my birthday, but you always do take <laughs> me out. <laughs> But I just thank you for making it special for my birthday. That's so sweet. I took you out on your birthday for your birthday, and that's why we're out here on your birthday and having drinks on your birthday. I love that you keep you, you're starting to get birthday. it. It's birthday, birthday, my birthday, my birthday. Hey, dummy! Are you proud or just playing stupid? Look, no, I'm Forrest Gump. Just run away, Forrest. Run, Forrest! Run away! Hurry! The Usher STD controversy is about to get bigger. Hey guys, it's Brad. So by now you're probably familiar with the Usher STD lawsuits with multiple people claiming that the singer gave them herpes without telling them. However, we've learned that lawsuit's about to get much bigger with three people, two women and a man coming forward and a new lawsuit to be filed Monday. Celebrity attorney Lisa Bloom says she'll hold a press conference in New York City on Monday with one of the victims and the other two will remain anonymous as Jane Doe and John Doe within the lawsuit. In a press release on Friday, Bloom said all three individuals claim to have had sexual contact with Usher after 2012 and he didn't tell any of them of his herpes status. We've reached out to Usher on the claims and so far no word back, but be sure to stay tuned to TMZ.com on Monday for the live stream of the press conference. I see you are very much liking to explore STDs also, my friend. That shit on your lip got some shit on his lip, dog. Is that why no puff puff? Pass me dodgy, my friends. This is nothing. I caught myself shaving. Yeah, whatever. So Archer settles the lawsuit. So does that mean you don't have it or you got money and you have it? Nigga, if this nigga don't tell me whether he got it in this next Confessions album, I'm going to mute him. You know it'd be hard if this nigga make the whole track list his 10 panel STD test. First song, Chlamydia, because it's fire. Track two, Herpes. This shit bump.
track three, yeast infection, because we about to get that dough. Then you got a track called Syphilis, but on the end of the album, you got the remix called Black Syph. Then you add the hard track called Gonorrhea, because you about to clap back at these. Look, I've never done anything like this. I've been in this business for 22 years. I've seen a lot of stuff, but this is, this is, I, I can't help myself. For Sharonis Jackson to post on his Twitter, uh, the ridiculous stuff that he's posted when he knew his brother was abusive. I went to Sharonis over a year ago and told him that his brother was abusive to my daughter. And he said, uh, well, I used to be like that too. What? So now he's posting on Twitter like he's this uh, special guy. We, we know he's the biggest fuck boy in Hollywood. He's disrespectful to women just like his little brother. He taught his brother how to be abusive. So he don't get to act like he's this special guy. No, you're a fuck boy and you're a part of the problem. millions of buckets to choose from sweetheart so you ain't stopping what's going on with me so if you gonna act up i'm about to link up yeah i just wanted to make this compilation real quick with our kiki palmer you know putting this restraining order on her boyfriend filing for a full custody of her kid you know it is what it is you know um abusive allegations come out now he's been beating her up for years and stuff like that, you know, but it's crazy that, uh, you know, she chose to stay throughout these years, you know, some people get used to that stuff and, you know, they, they don't want to go nowhere. They want to uh, continue the relationship and, and continue the, uh, the marriage and stuff like that. But, you know, they get in these uh, domestic disputes and now the whole world know about it. Or are you going to court for it? Are you trying to beat a DV case and stuff like that? over dumb shit, you know, over pushing and shoving, over going back and forth and don't know how to uh, de-escalate the situation and, and stuff like that, where it doesn't even be have to be necessary for the cops to be involved, the courts to be involved, you know, and people getting sued over a little bit of bread. So now she doesn't want them to see the kid, restraining orders being placed on them and all this stuff, you know, it's a sad sight that a, a man got a uh, feel like he needs to put his hands on a woman, you know. Um, a lot of these women don't feel like they need to listen or, or be under a man or have to talk talk through things through. They just want to get to their point and, and how they feel and continue on with their day after they didn't cuss you out or, you know, point at the finger or got all in your face about this or that, you know. You know, I just got to, uh, you know, play the devil's advocate because, too many people say this and the allegation always get thrown around that, you know, men are the abusers or men try to manipulate the woman out of this or that. And we clearly see um, she was having a great time for her birthday, you know. Seems like she didn't have a care in the world at that time, you know. And it's um, sad that men got to go through that and, and see their woman, um, you know, parading herself or advertising or being out there, you know being seen too much and men don't like that you know what i'm saying we want to want the woman to ourselves, and a lot of time they're just not for us you know they're not uh it's, it's not she's not yours it's just your turn so at the end of the day it's just your turn and once she dropped the baby she got all the stuff she wants and 
You know, now you on the chopping block. Now she can go get what she really wants. She can go get Usher. So it is what it is. You know, men got to keep on going through this. You know, he's a he's an, he's another one that bites the dust. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You know, signs of acceptance and we ain't having it. Like, comment, subscribe.